were more on the, the business side and you know, dealing with software and the impact that software can have with everything from the material usage, waste, um, managing that and reducing that to a, a bare minimum. And also, you know, staying on top of quality. You know, what we end up seeing, of course, in this country, especially with imported goods, is, you know, what percentage of the goods that come in uh, have poor quality, uh, can't be put on shelves, they end up, you know, in a bin in, you know, a secondhand store, or they end up actually just being destroyed because the company doesn't want inferior quality products out in the marketplace. And, you know, that brings, obviously, waste. Well, software like, uh, like what we provide, uh, Shopcore, Aptian, helps to deal with that. You know, we, we deal with the, the quality control down to the production floor. We help not to just instill a good quality me me metric, but we also, uh, because we put it back on the operator to do a good job, the operator tends to do a much better job with software in place, with the ability to see what's happening in front of them, and knowing that if they do something that's poor quality, it's going to come back to them. You know, so immediately the, the effect of, uh, of software relates to you know, less quality issues, higher quality products, um, less material waste, and better performance. And then when you get into the performance side of things, you know, simply by being able to uh, reduce your um, uh, amount of time required to produce you know, a specific uh, good product, increase your efficiency and your productivity, that you're able to output more with the same people, you're using less resources, and you know able to provide you know the same you know top quality merchandise. Yeah, we, it's almost like gamifying mm. production, you know. But also with that, like you're attracting more labor, you're attracting companies to actually bring production back to you know higher cost labor markets like the U.S. So there's a lot of benefits, and some of the things that we've been talking about, you know, like the um, made to order, you know, small run, a very custom type of product. To be able to link everything together from the point that somebody places an order on a website, down through their accounting system, through their back office operations, down to production, back up to shipping, and then out the door uh, to the customer. I mean, think of how many steps are involved. And if you didn't have software to link all of those things together, you know, nobody would really be able to handle that in an efficient way. Mm. And it would take ages to get your product out. You know, yeah, we, we actually have had some uh, interesting discussions with some of our customers out here uh, this week, actually, about um, the local labor market, the difference between, you know, under the table workers and some of the challenges that are happening out here uh, in relation to that versus, you know, the manufacturers that are above board that pay their oper operators a living wage, how they do that, some of the local regulations that have been put in place, like to combat like uh, piece rate you know type of payment schemes where we actually go in and we help companies implement incentive pay instead of um, piece rate so guaranteeing them that they'll get at least what their minimum is supposed to be but giving them the opportunity to actually make more money and this one customer we were at today was telling us that he's got some operators that because of the bonuses that he's able to put in place using our systems He's got operators that are making over $30 an hour. So they're actually able to make a living wage and he's able to manage, you know, both the production and the labor side and offer them, you know, this kind of, you know, bonus. And, and with that being said, you know, when you look at companies that are able to put things like that in place, it just attracts, it doesn't just attract labor, but it helps them keep the labor uh, and keep the labor happy. You know, and another thing that the, this company told us is that we asked a simple question, you know, how much do you, do you think it costs or saves to move your production to somewhere um, like, you know, China or India or somewhere like that? And, you know, his guess was somewhere around 20% labor savings after everything is shipped and landed and dealing with quality issues or different things like that. And then we asked another simple question, well, how much do, do you think you saved? by implementing the software. And his answer was 30%. You know, so right off the bat, he's already ahead and he's producing in Los Angeles, providing jobs here and providing a made in America product. Yeah, we actually have launched an AI tool uh, called Aptian AI. And the idea behind that is that what it, it's doing is it's linking all of the different systems together. So imagine, you know, you have ERP running your business, you have 
a PLM that's taking the design work and creating tech packs and presenting it to the production floor. You've got you know warehouse management, you've got shipping, you've got the financials, and you have shop floor. And with all of that, you know, we started by if you had to pull a report, you'd have to go into your old like crystal reports or whatever you know your report generator is, and it would pull different reports, and you'd have to somehow bring them together. Then the next uh, iteration was uh, BI tools. You know, we all remember a lot of talk about BI tools probably you know over the last like you know seven eight years, and that just you know combined all these systems and made it so you could drag and drop components and create this nice looking report or screen. So now with AI and what, what we're doing with AI is uh, simply to be able to like type what you want or to speak what you want. And so for example, I want a, a production report that tells me the percentage of quality issues that I have in departments one, two, and three, and how that's going to affect my financial bottom end and how much uh, fabric waste I have. And then it would just show you a screen that, and that data is being pulled from you know, five different software systems, but the person who's asking for this information is just making one simple command to get that information. So AI is, is huge when it comes to that. It's more of a matter of, you know, knowing how to handle the AI. And uh, like one of the challenges that we're talking about right now is, you know, you make a request for something, it gives it to you. Well, the next time you make the request, what if your wording is a little bit different and now the screen it shows you is just a little bit different? And you want that first screen, mm. you know, so as AI develops, I think that these are like some of the uh, complications that will be addressed.